Remember, Eagles, we are now in distance learning schedule. Be sure to know which days your assignments are due and stay safe. Good morning, I'm Gary King, reporting from my backyard, and this is your World News. So today, we start off with the coronavirus. Nationally, over a million people have been infected and over 56,000 have died. In the state, there are now over 43,000 cases and over 1,700 deaths. And here in San Diego County, there are over 3,000 cases and over 100 deaths. California is currently under a stay-at-home order imposed by Governor Gavin Newsom on March 19th. According to state officials, the state has flattened the curve, which means the rate of people being infected is slowing down. In the state, hospitalizations are also slowing down and ICU admissions are slowing down as well. But to focus more on San Diego County, on Monday, most beaches have reopened and the rest plan to open next week. But there are still restrictions. All water activities except boating can resume. But as to on land, only running and walking are permitted. Dr. Wilma Wooten, the county public health officer, said the numbers we are seeing are good news. San Diego parks have also reopened. During a press conference last week, San Diego Mayor, Mayor Kevin Faulkner said that there was a light at the end of the tunnel. And, and lastly for county news, starting May 1st, you have to wear a mask when leaving your home. As to more national news, some states have begun to reopen. Montana has reopened hair salons, bars, and schools. Other states, such as Wyoming, Georgia, and Idaho, have also begun to reopen. And lastly, Dr. Deborah Burks, the coordinator for the White House response to the coronavirus outbreak, said that America is at a plateau in the number of cases. And in election news, Senator Bernie Sanders has dropped out of the 2020 race for president which means former Vice President Joe Biden is a presumptive nominee for the Democratic Party. Vice President Biden will face President Trump this November. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you soon. Eagles, in our 60 years of existence, we've never experienced anything like what we're going through today. At Granite Hills High School, I want you to know that we are here for you. We're more than a high school. We are community. We are still nestled in our mountain crown. We are Granite Strong. We are family.
faith in you. 